Hi everyone, welcome to Stogie Geeks News for October 29th, 2015. We're broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios, and this is the Gangsta Edition. I'm go. here in studio with Mr. Will Cooper. Hey, great to be here today. Yes, yeah, nice to have you physically here in studio Absolutely. to cover the cigar news for this week. Absolutely, and it's an exciting week. It is. Our four-year anniversary is tomorrow. If you want to see our full Halloween costumes, you can tune in tomorrow or watch the uh, recorded videos that we're going to be doing from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. tomorrow. We've got a lineup that is uh, really spectacular. So Yeah, I mean, we're going to make history again. Absolutely. And uh, help cigar rights as well. Yes, very important cause. Yep. So, Will, what's the happenings in the cigar industry this week? The big story uh, comes from Davidoff, and it's that time of the year where uh, Davidoff gets ready to unveil their Chinese Zodiac Limited Edition. And uh, 2016 is the year of the monkey. And thus, um, the 2016 edition of the Zodiac series is going to be the Davidoff Year of the Monkey. Due to hit the stores <laughs> first week in November. Packaging is spectacular on the St. Paul. It's got a bamboo cover. Um, oh, nice. There's 10 cigars that uh, come that kind of slide out in a tray under mm -hmm. this bamboo cover. Um, it's got a band with a symbol of the monkey, of course, on the cigar. This year's cigar is a 6.5 by 50 Toro. Interesting. Which they really haven't done a traditional Toro in that line to Tor date at this Toro's point. Toro's a great size, though. Yeah. I, you know the Toro in their Nicaraguan line is awesome. Yep. Uh, I find I gravitate towards the tour in a lot of lines, so I'm glad it's not a 60 ring. Yeah, they did that with the horse a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Or a tour, traditional torpedo. Yeah, which is glad. Year. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that they went to they went Toro this year. Yeah, so. and, and it's a real interesting Davidoff blend this year. Um, they're using that Ecuadorian Rojiza wrapper, um, which is what they went and put on the Winston Churchill this year. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, that's kind of become one of those Davidoff signature wrappers. Um, it's going to have a San Andreas Mexican binder. A lot of more people using San Andreas, or at least disclosing they're using San Andreas. Yeah, and, uh, you know, not as common on binders, but we're starting to see it pop up a little more. Mm -hmm. And then the, the fillers are kind of what I'd say in the direction that Davidoff's been going in as well. It's got its mix of Dominican fillers. Uh, they're using some Peruvian Seiko, which Davidoff is known to use. Mm -hmm. And then they're incorporating some of that Nicaraguan Ometepe tobacco that they've been playing with on some of those Nicaraguan Interesting, blends. so it's Nicaraguan tobacco yeah. the filler. Yep. And that's it? Peruvian and Nicaraguan? And Dominican. And Dominican. Yep. Do they say which which Dominican? Yep, so Puerto Cabano, San Vicente, and a hybrid Corojo uh, Allure. Oh, wow. So there's five different fillers? Five different fillers in that. Ah, I can't wait to smoke that. Yeah. I say that all the time when we do the news, but that one is sounds pretty spectacular. In, in my opinion, the Davidoff Zodiac series, it, it started with the snake in yep. 13, the horse in 14, the sheep in 15. They have. This has become one of the iconic series. Now it's a expensive cigar. This is going to be a thirty-five dollar cigar. Thirty-five. Wow. So it is a special occasion cigar. Um, As with a lot of Davidoffs. Yeah. Uh, special releases and some of the regular releases too. But this is this is one and done usually. So you get yeah. them and 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 they're done at this point. Sweet. What else you got, Will? Well. On the topic of Nicaragua and on the topic of Davidoff, uh, Davidoff has announced another one, of, a new blend, uh, Nicaraguan blend, in one of their other brands. Mm -hmm. And it's one of their less common brands, um, but it's a brand that's bigger in Europe, and that is the Griffins, which I've liked a lot of Griffins cigars. And they have Me announced too. their uh, special editions are awesome. Oh, they are. And they actually, uh, at the Inter Tabac, which is the European trade IPC, show, like the European yeah. IPCPR, right? Yeah. They announced, uh, they actually launched the uh, Griffins Nicaragua. Um, now, this cigar is going to have a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper. It's going to have Dominican Peloto Cubano binder and a mix of Nicaraguan, Honduran, and Dominican fillers. Um, three sizes, a short torpedo, 4x52, a Robusto, 5x54, and a 6x60. Yay. Now, the bad news, it's only going to Europe to start. Uh, now They'll with, release it in the U.S. I don't. think they will. Yeah. I, obviously, it's... You know, starting with Davidoff, Nicaragua, they went to Avo, Nicaragua, and now, now Griffin's. Um, Griffin's started out as kind of a, a house cigar in Europe. It was a private. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and Davidoff bought the brand. So they have a lot of roots in Europe. So I, I kind of understand this going yeah. to Europe first. And it's had more of a limited presence in the U.S. market. But if you're a Davidoff White Label fan, the Griffin's are some good cigars that are in there. Mm, excellent. What else, Will? Um, final story comes from uh, the Leaf by Oscar folks. Mm. So for folks who are familiar with the Leaf by Oscar, those are these cigars that are wrapped in a tobacco leaf. Which I think is great packaging. It, it, it is. I don't know. Is, is that the first? That can't be the first time it's been done. I think at a, in terms of the, you know, 
recently anyway. Yeah, in terms definitely. of the level of distribution they've achieved, yeah. um, I think it, they've probably done it to the furthest extent right now. Mm. You know, they've done the four blends, Corojo, Sumatra, Connecticut, and Maduro. They've come out with a third size in this, and uh, it is uh, a Lancero. Hmm. A 7x40 Lancero. Um, and to, what's the wrapper? Um, so the wrappers are, it's going to be the Connecticut shade. Oh, so the yes. new size in all the different. Yes. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the difference with this one is, and they're kind of going with that traditional um, Lancero type approach, is limited. Um, they're going to limit it to 50 retailers across the country right mm -hmm. now. I've heard some talk at maybe one retailer per state, but they're going to keep it at 50. Um, and this should start rolling out. Either soon or it already may have already hit a couple of shops already. Nice. Yep. So that's something for Leaf fans and Lancero fans to look forward to. Excellent. Thank you very much, Will. And thanks, everyone, for watching Stogie Geeks News. Make sure you check out the live show, stogiegeeks.com forward slash live, every Thursday evening, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you check out all of the cigar news and reviews at cigar-coop.com. And if you can't tune in to our four-year extravaganza, you can take uh, a look at all our recorded videos and audio, which will be on our websites, including our YouTube channel as well. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Take care.